Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we are going to talk about safety in gauge class. In today's video, I will tell you what are the safety provided in water side and the steam side in the gauge class. This question is mainly asked in MEO class 2 and MEO class 4 orals. So please remain tuned. After that, I will tell you how the gauge class is tightened properly so that to ensure that there is no leakage. Okay. So before bring the video, I want to tell you that I have made a video regarding gauge glass. In that video, I have explained why the gauge glass is provided and what is the position of the cock in normal operation when the gauge glass is running condition. So please watch that video. Right now, it's showing an I button. Now let's begin the video. Safety in gauge glass. So the safety in gauge glass can be categorized in two two, two part. First part is a water side safety and second part is a steam side safety. Why? Because as you know, the top part of the gauge glass is the part where the steam enter the gauge glass and lower part is the part where the water enter the gauge glass and to maintain the equilibrium position to reach the water level which has been indicated that is present inside the boiler. So, so first let's see the water side safety. A ball valve is fitted to the lower end of the gauge glass water cock side in order to shut off the water flow in event of glass fracturing. So what do I mean by that is this. There is a ball valve, a stainless steel ball or a bronze, bronze mild steel ball is provided in the lower section of the water cock water side so that in event this glass fractured. To prevent the water gushing out, this ball valve is provided. This ball valve acts as a non-return valve which will prevent the sudden water seeping out from the gauge glass if there is a fracturing inside a gauge glass. Now, why if the ball valve is not provided, water will come out when the gauge glass is shattered. But as the water will come out, it will flash off into a large volume of steam due to reduction of atmospheric pressure. Very important point. So what do I mean by that? Is this if this ball valve is not provided? Okay, if this ball valve is not provided, and now if the water just come out, and if the ball valve is not there, the water will come out. As you know that the water inside the boiler is in the pressure of 4 to 8 bar and when it's coming out it's coming out at the atmospheric pressure 1 bar so sudden decrease in pressure will lead to the change of the water into the steam form and as the water is subjected to a lower pressure it will change into a large volume of steam which will injury the personal standing around and it will have a burning effect. The large volume steam will lead to the injury to the personnel working around the gauge glass to prevent this from happening ball valve is provided inside the gauge glass. So basically this ball valve is provided so that if the water is coming out to first to prevent the water coming out from the gauge glass. If it is not there then the water which is coming out from a high pressure to atmospheric range will be soon converted into a large volume of steam and the person who has been just passing by or working around the boiler may get have may have a burning effect and severe burn may occur to prevent this from happening this ball valve is provided now let's see the this diagram as you can see in this diagram this is the cock which has been opened in that case water will come out from the boiler and lifting the ball valve and will pass through. Now, when the cock is fully closed, the ball valve will sit on the surface and will prevent the water from coming out. But if there is certain shattering, the ball valve will just go and will block this passage. As it will block this passage, it will prevent the water from coming out if there is a sudden flow or glass shattering has taken place. So for that reason it is provided. Now let's see the steam side. Restricted orifices are provided in some of the gauge glass steam cock side 
which will reduce the steam blowing out in case of gauge glass shattering. It will allow that of the steam to come out which is sufficient to indicate fracture has taken place. Now, first thing as I have told you that why the ball ball is provided on the water side of the gauge glass. Now, in the steam side there also, to prevent the large volume of steam to come out and having a large steam loss because of the gauge glass shattering, a orifice, a restricted orifice is provided on the steam cock side which will restrict the certain gushing out of the steam if the gauge glass gets fractured. So the steam will come out but it will come out in such an amount that is sufficient to indicate that okay the gauge glass fracturing has taken place but it will not come out in a certain force so that it may affect the personal working around. For that reason the restricted orifice arrangement is provided on a steam cock side also. So now if anyone asks you what are the safety in glaze glass you should say two safety. First is the ball ball on the water side and second is the restricted orifice in the steam cock side. So these are two safety and why it is provided if someone tell you it is very simple you can know now. Now let's move to the this diagram it clearly so here as you can see this is the ball ball and which will shut now in normal operation what what happened the ball is maintained in equilibrium position such that it will allow the water to condense water to flow but if there is no steam to balance that equilibrium in that case it will shut the whole thing okay so this is how a ball ball work now let's see how the gauge glass is tightened as you can see this is a reflex type gauge glass and it is been tightened by a u-tube type bend by a nut bolt this tightening of the gauge glass this nut tightening of gauge glass is very important to ensure that the even even sitting of the gauge glass on onto the metal body if the gauge glass doesn't sit evenly on the metal body it will leak as soon as the cock will be open so to ensure correct tightening the tightening procedure is shown here so if you want to tight we have to tight from the middle to the up down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so as you can see we are tightening in a two way first we are starting from the middle and we are tightening diagonally and after that again in a zigzag way so like this 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 so tightening from the middle in a diagonal way and for and and performing a zigzag action so that to ensure even tightness is achieved all through the gauge glass. Second thing is that the gauge glass should be tightened at the correct torque. The normal torque which the gauge glass should be tightened is mentioned in a manufacturer manual. So please refer to that before tightening the gauge glass. So I hope in this video you have learned how the gauge glass is tightened and why what are safety in the gauge glass provided. If you have any doubt please do comment below and please friend please do subscribe my video please do subscribe my channel and have a good day image credit goes to this volume 8 and gs fanagan thank you friend have a good day